Warren, System Machinery UK, known for two brands, your Syncom, Miano. For people who don't know, what are the difference between the machines? Yeah, so basically, Citizens Company, we've got two products. One is Syncom, one is Miano. Syncom are the slide lead machines, which go up to th about 38 mil maximum. Uh, from 38 mil, we look at the Miano range of machines, which go all the way up to uh, 80 mil. So as a company, we've got the complete uh, solution for bar turning. Now you said up to 80 mil, we'll come to the 80 mil in a minute, but the, you say the 38 mil on the slider, that ties in nicely with your latest product, sort of upgrade really, which is the M532. So that's based your M32, which is your sort of flagship model, but it's series five. What's the difference, you know, have you upgraded this machine? Uh, in a nutshell, Colin, it's the, it's the fifth generation of this uh, M32 mil machine. The, the main uh, upgrades really are interchangeable guide bush, uh, a double-ended program or B-axis, which is capable of a true five-axis simultaneous machining, the M800 touchscreen control. Uh, it's got a lot more power, a lot more tools. Uh, it's just an over, uh, overhaul of the machine, really. Really. Now, when you say the tools, well, you, you've got your full simultaneous five-axis, or B-axis, sorry, so that'll give you some, you know, really complex components. But on the turret, how many tools will that take? Uh, it's, a, it's a 10 station turret, um, you can have up to six tools per one station, so technically 60 tools on the turret alone. Well, I mean, how many tools in total? Because, I mean, already that's a lot of tools. Yeah, in total you can fit uh, about 86 machine, uh, 86 uh, tools in total. Well, that's a, a lot of tooling going on there. Now, also, you mentioned it's the M32, so 32 mil, but it will go up to the 38 mil. Two options there, I'm assuming, will it go guide bush, non guide bush, or expansion pack, or you can mix and match really? Yeah, so the, it's standard, the machine is a 32 mil. Uh, with the oversized kit, it will go up to 38 mil. Uh, but it, it's important to know that it, it, it's designed as a 38 mil machine scaled back to 32 mil. So when you do go up to 38 mil, you know, it's got the power, it's got the, the space or the clearance between the tools to handle the 38 mil bar. Okay, and I understand you've you've upgraded the power on this machine. I mean, it was really powerful, really rigid machine before, but it, the power's been upgraded as well. Yeah, I mean, give you an example on the turret, the uh, the power of the revolving tool drives is doubled. Uh, the main spindles, the sub spindle power has been increased. Uh, and you know, something to uh, note as well: the the motors on the machine are servo driven, not spindle motors. So basically, what that means, you get you got maximum amount of torque. From low range to high range so you haven't got to wait for the the rpm to rev up to get the uh torque maximum torque right I think you're showing off a bit here because that's i mean you know you've got loads of tools loads of axes so you're going to make complex parts on tricky materials so that's quick quick summary of that one they're complex parts tricky materials i want to move on to the next machine now you mentioned about your as i understand it at the moment your range goes up to about 64 mil on your miano fixed heads which is um now you're going up to 80, I'm just checking my notes here, the ABX80 THY2 or SYY2. What is that machine? Yeah. Yeah, so basically the Miano ABX65 has been around for uh, a number of years. It comes in two different models. One's a triple turret, one's a double turret. It's actually a second generation of this model. But we've now got a, a new Miano coming out, which is the ABX80, which is an 80 mil three ball. Okay, and again, I'm... Um, Rhetorical question, really. Big, solid, one-piece casting, so it's going to be big cuts. Yeah, that's right. So it's a twin spindle uh, machine, triple or double turret. It's a one-piece solid casting, which is uh, it's all hand scrapes to you know till uh, today still. Uh, you know, it's a high, highly accurate machine as well. I've, I've got customers uh, that machine to microns over you know twenty-four hours on man period to microns on a big twelve-ton machine. Okay, so and just I just want to clarify, you've got the option, so obviously your twin spindle, but you've got double turret or triple turret, is that available? Yeah, that's correct, yeah, yeah, so do, uh, twin turret or triple turret, all uh, have got Y-axis as well, and all got revolving tools. Okay, so I'm thinking here, I'm going to throw these at you, just give me a yes or no answer, so balance turning? Yeah. Balance yeah, turning? Yeah, balance yeah, 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 so things like balance turning, gang milling, hose drilling, uh superimposed machine at the moment is only on the B&E, on the B&E 51. 
so if you want three tools, it's uh, it's limited to that machine at the moment. But obviously, you know, on a ABX THYT, you've got three tools in cut anyway, potentially. Again, you know, you're going to make some real complex parts and you'll be able to machine some really tricky materials on that machine. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, like I said, you know, the, the ABX customers machine, simple components to real complex, super high precision components in difficult materials. Uh, it's just, uh, like I say, it's one of our flagship uh, models. It's just a real good machine, the ABX. Really good. OK, now what we're going to do is come, come back a bit in, in terms of size. The L12 Type 10. Now, with LFE, first of all, then, LFE, I mean, I'm sure people do know, but just quickly, what can we expect from LFE? And what's it stand for? Yeah, so LFE is uh, Low Frequency Vibration. It's, uh, it's programmable chip control. And basically what, what that means, uh, it, you know, historically, slide-end machines have always suffered with, with, with uh, what's called burn nesting, where the swarfs, you know, wrapping around the part or wrapping around the tooling, it causes the machine to start, it causes damaged parts. With LFE, it chips the material. It doesn't matter if it's plastics, coppers, aluminiums, stainless steels, right through to exotics. It will chip any material in any feature, even screw cutting as well nowadays. Um, so what it means is the, the uptime, the unman of the machining is increased. Essentially, no problems running 24-7 and holding those tolerances. The side effects really from LFE is uh, better tool life because you get, you know, reduced heat in the insert. You can get better surface finish because the way LFE works, you, you're almost getting like a wiper effect. You can eliminate roughing passes so you can do heavy depth of cuts. So again, you, you know, I know guys are doing automotive components and difficult materials. They're doing things like 10 mil depth of cut. So 10 mil depth of cut, even on a big fixed head machine is a big depth of cut. But on a slider, that is absolutely unknown of. But LFE, you know, gives you the ability to do big depth of cuts. Absolutely fantastic. Now, just in terms of the actual L12 itself, the L12 yeah. Type 10, then, you can talk me through what upgraded, what changes you've done on this machine. Yeah, so the, the L12 Type 7 has been around for a number of years. It's a, it's a rapid little machine. The L12 Type 10 is uh, a, a, an upgrade on the Type 7, if you like. It's, a, it's an additional model. Uh, you can have up to 38 tools on this, but the main difference is it's got a Y-axis on the back on the subspindle platen, so you've got two rows of tools on the back end. So it just means more tools. Uh, there's a, the main spindle will actually go from uh, will actually go up to 15,000 RPM compared to 12,000 RPM on the Type Seven. Um, but yeah, they you know they're super quick little machine, and the fastest cycle time I've seen on one of these is about four seconds. Yeah, well we've got it. We've got we've got access to that video so i mean i'm assuming that was a fairly fairly simple part because to do a cycle time in four seconds is pretty impressive stuff it, it, yeah it is and it, you know the component i was uh, i viewed was it was only brass it was phased turned parted off drilled and that on the back end and ejected but in four seconds that's still pretty quick i think that's still pretty quick impressive stuff so nimble small footprint accurate with the lfe so that's just a quick overview of your l12 type 10 now last but not least then miano bnd 65 sy5 what have you done with this machine yeah so again for the match show we're looking to launch a new range of machines so again the bnd has been out for uh, probably over a decade now but uh, we've increased the capacity from 51 mil up to 65 um the BND is a, a super rigid, uh, versatile mill turn lathe, which is capable of uh, even hard turning. It's a high accuracy lathe. It's basically twin spindle, single turret with Y axis. Okay, you say twin spindle, single turret. Are you are you able to cut two on, on both spindles at the same time? Then how are we doing that? Yeah, so on the BND machine, it's more about accuracy work. You know, high precision, hard turning application. So. Uh, on the BND, you can't use superimposed machining, no. Okay, fair enough. And what else can we expect from this machine? Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's it's a small footprint. It's a one-piece solid casting. Like I say, it's a high-accurate high, ac high accurate, uh, mill turn lathe. It's capable of things like hard turning, hard skiving, uh, small footprint, uh, fanic controlled. Uh, it's just a good, versatile lathe, really. There you go. Warren, 
that's it. I'm going, to, I'm going to bring this to a close now. So four, you know, four great, great new machines or upgraded machines that you'd see, you would have seen at Mac 2020. And we hope we'll, hope we'll see them very, very well. We can see them very, very soon. So that's it. Again, your Syncom, your sliders, Miano, your fixed head, Warren Garrett, Citizen Machinery UK. Thank you very much for joining us.